What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and we are back with some more KSP War. It's been a while, but finally I was able to get a nice mod set that makes it a little bit easier to make and a little more interesting. But at the same time, they're still time consuming, don't expect a lot. We're going to try to do as much as possible, because I do love KSP. KSP is just an amazing game, and a lot of the mods for it are really fucking awesome. Uh, this is the Nimitz mod for it. Uh, it's an entire Nimitz class aircraft carrier, and the great thing about it is a lot of this stuff actually works. For some reason, when I click on this though, uh, we're going to start the reactor, everything's going to go n pretty much nighttime. Now the cool thing is, the uranium in it, this thing will run forever. It'll never stop. So we can actually turn on the engine and get her moving. Maybe not. That might actually be not enough power to move her. Yeah, that's actually not enough power to move her. <laughs> so never mind. We'll just go ahead and just cut the engines. <laughs> uh, but the cool thing is we can raise deflectors up, and it goes dark for some reason. We can lower lifts. Full hangar in here that we can actually use. It's pretty damn cool. We'll raise lift, lower deflector. So the hard part, there are no arrestor cables on this at all. Um, so we actually have to... Let me turn this thing off. Uh, we actually have to kind of use a combination of brakes and drag chutes to stop an aircraft. So the goal of this is we're going to try to get a carrier fleet going. It may or may not be possible, but I'm sure we're going to have some funny situations trying to get aircraft on this beastly, beastly thing. Alright, so this is our first carrier candidate. This is the Falcon 1. By the way, you might be noticing a little bit of this, these things on here. This is the ILS system for the Kerbin side, just adds the city and a bunch of other shit. It's pretty cool. Oh, this is going to be our small carrier fighter. It's got two big, big ass air brakes, six drogue chutes, and a beasty en beastly engine to get help it get off the ground because there is no. Um, catapult system on the carrier either so you need to be able to get there off the carrier pretty quickly so we're gonna start this beast up okay I had a staging issue let me fix that okay staging issue fix let's try this again <laughs> here we go taking off we have the afterburner engine which is totally going to be able to uh, kick it into high gear here in a second Actually, we're going to keep our gear out. I mean, this thing is super freaking fast. Alright, so there's the carrier. Ooh, we're going to have a hard time turning here. Yeah, that wing space. Crazy amount of lift. Terrible. Terrible amount of turning speed. <laughs> Okay, I really wish I would have enabled these to turn. Yeah, we should have put canards on here for a delta wing. Okay, we're gonna bring her up and try to bring her right on around again. That actually might help us with stability, other than the fact that we can't really pull up much. So we'll do a nice big loop, come around. We're gonna make sure our brakes are engaged. Oh no, I forgot they work on the air brakes. It's on the same damn thing. Shit. All right, well this will be interesting. What are our air brakes doing speed-wise? They don't do squat, really. Actually, we can have it use it to control our turn a bit. We could do. Try to cause... Nope, okay. Let's see if we can have them help with pitch, maybe? Okay, here we go. Pop them out, help control speed. There we go. We are in line. Alright, we're lined up on the carrier. Looking good. Everything's looking good. We're a little high. We're going to cut throttle a bit. Because we're still a little, little fast. Just a little fast here. 
I actually kind of want to take her more towards the front because we need all the space we're going to be able to get here. Shit. We have to pop the engines back on a bit. Yep. Ooh, that canard's in the front. We're going to crash right into the back of her. Holy shit. Yep. No, avoid it! Oh, God! Okay, we need to redesign this thing just a little bit. <laughs> okay, the performance is much, much better now. We can actually get some nice turns going in. Uh, so our slow speed uh, handling is definitely going to be our low speed handling. Wow, my talking. Talk Much Devil Dog is going to be exceptionally better. Um, yeah, definitely. Definitely. We're going to try to put on these precision controls so that way we're going to throttle her down. So that way we're not doing anything too drastic maneuver wise. Okay. We're coming on in. We're looking pretty well aligned here. Alright. Yep. Looking pretty good. Let's pop on out of here. Okay, we're going to hit the drag shoots pretty much right before touchdown as we really need to stop here. Make sure brakes are active before we touch down. And drag shoot. There we go, there we go! We fucking did it! Cut the shoots! Holy crap. We actually fucking did it. I can't believe that. There's no way we did it! We did it! <laughs> we landed on the fucking carrier! Okay, we totally need to put this down in the hangar. Alright, now we just need to switch to the carrier. That would be lift 2, correct? Yes, it is! Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that amazingness! So fucking awesome. Oh. Okay, let's remove the brakes. And we'll taxi her on into the hangar. Oh, that's so legit. That's so legit. We have to launch a ton more of these things. We need a whole fucking carrier fleet. We need to try some some other aircraft, maybe stuff with folding wings. I don't know if we'll be able to do folding wings there or not, but definitely some more different carrier variants to get them out here for sure. Okay, so we're going to stop her here, and we'll shut down the engine. All right, so she's locked into place. Perfect. This is going to be amazing. All right, so we built ourselves a little VTOL carrier craft, like a little pancake configuration. I've only test flown it once and got it into a hover. I added some more RCS thrusters. Might help it out just a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and test this thing out. Uh, I did hear an explosion at the carrier, which is usually not a good sign, to be completely honest. And we're up! Look at that shit. That's just crazy. I love VTOLs. VTOLs and KSV are awesome as hell. Should probably increase the rust a bit. Get our forward momentum going along with this. And we'll let her pull up a bit. And we'll drop those in. There we go. She doesn't turn well. I hear issues. Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh! Okay, we have to work on the control surfaces a bit. I, I feel like the control surfaces are an issue in themselves. But, there might be a way around it. Man, she likes to roll while I yaw. Yeah, here explosions. I think our small fighter just got sm smoked hard. Okay, we'll start slowing her down here. Try to get her into a hover at least. And she'll start losing altitude pretty quickly. Yep, we're right over her. may like to take off, but she doesn't like to, uh, to hover much, now does she? Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, we definitely have a control surfaces issue here. What the hell was- What the hell? What happened? Alright, few design tweaks. We ended up putting the pitch and roll back here, uh, elevators. But then I added another set here because I feel like these weren't enough. Also adjusted the uh, rudders to this position. Um, should be good for flight. We'll find out, right? Seems like the it's got a lot more control to her. He's definitely a nimble one. Ooh. Minus the fact that our, uh... Oh, oh god, we're in trouble. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh no! Alright, try this again. Alright, I think because of our tweaking, we ended up getting an issue where... The balance, the thrust balance is off a little bit when it's not in a hover. Like, once you increase throttle to a certain certain speed or get her nose down too far at that point she's kind of too far gone and she doesn't want to do anything but we can just do this so we just quickly switch her over oh she's got so much more control now wow that's actually really nice Hear issues over there all of a sudden. We're still moving forward, which is nice. So we want to get the brakes on. I mean, we're technically in a hover. See, I think the way we're gonna have to do this is almost kind of how a Harrier sets up for a short takeoff, where it has the upward momentum, but it's also got forward momentum at the same time. So it's got the, the upward thrust plus the, the forward thrust at the same time. So we might have to use this forward momentum that we have built up. Just seeing that, you know, stock curve will do its thing. And just go in and land like that. I mean, we're going slow enough. I think our brakes will really do something. But as soon as we pull up, we're really going to lose some altitude here. altitude now. Okay, cool. Cool. We have a lot. I think because of our wing design, we just have a fuck ton of lift. And we're really having a hard time kind of counteracting that. Okay, as long as we don't f throttle up to full, we should be alright. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. We are getting somewhere. Oh, 
Oh, as soon as we started throttling up, we ran into issues. There we go. Ha! <laughs> Not a full hover, but it totally worked, right? Yeah, and we totally lost the other aircraft we had on here. That kind of sucks. That's crazy. All right, let's go see if we can land this thing back at base then. Oh, shit. Yeah, see, that's that's an issue. Now what happened there? It's because of our brakes were on? Okay. Something happened here. Let's try this again. Hmm. Interesting. Now. Okay, so it seems like there's different setups for the VTOL engines. Ah, so there was another way to do this, really, it seems like. RIP! RIP! Ah, okay. So, I see. Well, that was a hell of a fail. But still, we got there. So we're gonna try to make another fighter then. Maybe a larger transport. Let's try to do a large transport. All right, so this is a little cargo plane that we made. It's got nice little uh, turbofan engines, a bunch of drag chutes because this thing is heavy. Plus we have actual reverse thrusters, which is kind of nice. I think, there we go. Two's reverse thrust. I think it was. Yep, there we go. And uh, we got some very large air brakes too, which is nice. So we should be able to slow down pretty hardcore. We'll find out. Let's see if it's actually enough thrust to get us off the runway first off. I don't know, this might be kind of cutting it close flying wise. We might have to actually add two more engines in to actually make this work. Nah. Ooh, almost had a tail strike. She does not like to fly. Yep, she's going back down. Alright, looks like we're getting two more engines then. So, uh, we'll cut her. Hit the air brakes, reverse thrust. That reverse thrust takes a minute to to kick in. Ain't that for sure. Damn. Alright, so yeah, we need to get two more engines in, but this should be pretty good. Alright, so two more power two more engines. Alright, so two more engines, more power! Time to hit it. Let's do it. Should definitely be a little better than the last time. Jeez, that radar altimeter warning is kind of hilarious. 
All right, we should be able to lift now without a tail strike. There we go, and we're increasing speed, yay! I do want to keep the gear down though, because we are going to be making a turn here and attempting to land again. This is definitely going to be an interesting one for sure, with the how the how slow the reverse thrusters are, and also all the drogue shoots. It'll be interesting to see if we actually get on the deck. Really, oh, this gear is so long and nasty looking. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna throttle her back a bit. Swinging her around, so she's throttled back. Let's drop the uh, air brakes out. Air brakes are out, she's lined up. All right. Throw her on to more precise mode, hit the reverse thruster. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Reverse thruster. Oh shit, I hit it too early. No! That was perfect too! Alright, so before hitting the reverse thrusters, we were on an actual really good path for a landing. It would have been perfect. Um, so we're not going to hit the reverse thrusters early. It seems that they actually do work as intended and seem to just start cutting. Even though we were on the runway we tested them, in the air they just straight up cut airspeed. And we're not really going to mess with that right now. We're just going to put her, try to get, a, get her on the deck at least. I feel like that would be the smart thing to do. And then hit all the drogue shoots. The drogue shoots will definitely stop us. That mixed with the reverse thruster. Um... It's definitely going to be a lot to do real quick. <laughs> Alright, so we definitely want to get her lined up again. We need the altitude, too, that we had before. God, it was such a perfect landing. We were coming in so perfectly. Oh, I'm so mad about that. Here we go. Here we go. Let's pop out the air brakes. We're still low. Cut throttle a bit more. Okay, we'll use the rudder to adjust the rest of the way. We're losing air speed. We're going to speed up a bit more. Throttle down, throttle down, throttle down, throttle down, throttle down. And drug shoots the first thrusters. Shit! Shit! No! Damn it! Alright, so one of the important pieces of the puzzle that I forgot were the brakes. So we didn't have the extra brakes actually going in and um, helping us slow down. The drug shoots should have probably been popped a little bit earlier. And the reverse thruster also should have been, lat, you know, well earlier than before. Um, but I feel like they might have sped us up just a little bit. I don't know. Maybe call me crazy. I mean, we were good. It was just trying to stop this beast. Is I mean, this is kind of a big aircraft to put on the deck. Oh, shit. I know you're up pretty hard there. <laughs> pretty hard. To be completely honest. All right, so we're going to turn her around over here. We definitely need the altitude again. Alright, and then we're going to kind of swing her back over, air brakes, hold on the drogue chute, and reverse thrusters. But before I forget, I do want to turn on the brakes. So our wheel brakes are enabled and ready to go. 
just for when that moment comes. All right, we're gonna start our turn. And throttle down a bit. All right, we're gonna need the whole damn ship for this one. Throw out the uh, air brakes here. Okay, we're coming in a little low, a little lower than what we had the last time. So we should probably work on getting our altitude. Okay, we're looking good, looking good. Kinda wanna yaw it over this way. Throttle down, throttle down hard. We're coming in fast, way faster than the last time. And we're going right towards the superstructure here, again. Okay, drug shoes and reverse thrusters. No! 20, 24, we were so damn close. Gotta hit it early, gotta hit it earlier. Holy crap, I'm only! All right, we're gonna give this big old beast one more college try before I call it impossible. It's not that it's not impossible. I mean, it, there is no, it's not impossible. It's just, it just takes tweaking to get it to the position to where you need to land it. Uh, dumping a lot of the fuel would probably help slow us down too. Less of a mass. And there we go again with that climb. It has to do with all this fuel in the back. But yeah, given hitting the drogue shoots earlier and giving them time to deploy would probably help the slowest down a bit. I mean, we were t about 20 meters a second. We were pretty damn close to stopping. I feel like that extra chance to deploy the shoots to give them that chance to stop would have greatly, greatly helped us. Okay, we got the altitude we need. We're going to start the turn. Make sure we stay nose up. Alright, popping out the, uh, the air brakes. Okay, okay. Slowly coming around. I want to throttle her down just a tad bit. We need the whole damn ship so we're not landing on the actual runway on there. So we're gonna start our turn now. There we go, there we go. Starting our turn. 90 meters a second. Awesome, awesome. Okay. We are looking good over here. We need altitude. We're gonna throttle down now. We got our altitude, got our altitude. Okay. Talking her down just a little bit. She's all over the place. Shit. She's all over the place. Okay. Drug shoot. Brakes. I didn't hit brakes. I never hit the brakes. Son of a bitch. Oh, damn. Ah, water landing. This shit is tough, man. Holy crap. Seriously. All right, boys. So this is the Nimitz. You know, it's. I definitely feel like it has a place in the war series, but as for a home base for any sort of assaults we're doing, I don't think it's stable enough to really do much, nor is it practical. <laughs> it would be a good target though, I definitely feel like that. Uh, there's been so much added to B9 and all these other mod packs that I'm trying that we really need to test a lot of weapons. So I feel like the first few episodes of the war are going to be us testing some of these new weapon systems like the artillery, um, just all kinds of craziness that they have in here. Uh, just finding out what we really want to use in the war. Wow, we can almost hover with this thing. That's kind of crazy. I definitely want to test out a lot of the weapon systems first before we really do anything. Can we hover with it? Yeah, we're kind of hovering with this at the moment. No, we're falling. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, really? I'm like, we're really hovering with this. Um, so we're going to definitely test out a lot of the weapon systems first, figure out some stuff, then go to war. We're definitely planning some massive wars. I definitely plan on doing some space battles and different planetary battles I feel like would be a cool aspect to it. 
Uh, but I feel like, yeah, this this carrier is definitely awesome. It's definitely a challenge. Um, I'll download. I'll give you the mod pack for the carrier in the description below. It's definitely pretty cool, super buggy. Definitely gotta try it out. If you guys want more KSP? Let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.